This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its eighth year of talk like you've never heard it before. I almost didn't sing. Hey, it's Alex, and it's the Ramble. We're here until midnight tonight. Yeah, it says after a couple of days off, I have to reset things, and uh, the, I had to turn the volume up, and I had to turn the volume down, and uh, I pushed the wrong button, and I brought it down, and then I didn't bring it up. And uh, yeah, is you getting tired of this? I am. <laughs> It's one thing after another. By the way, Jack will not be on tonight. He wasn't on the last two. He was on the last two nights, kind of. He had trouble with his computer. And then it finally wouldn't even reboot. So there will be no show tonight. And he was going to go buy a new one today, but he didn't because some guy said, well, I can come over and fix it for you. But the machine is seven years old, and he probably should get a new one anyway. At least I would. Hell, I, I got a new one myself. Anyway, hi, everybody. Uh, you know, it's at that time of the week where we uh, uh, bring people in here. And uh, in this case, it's uh, we start off on our uh, uh, Wednesday programs uh, with this gentleman who is visiting Hawaii now. Right, Phil? Uh, you know, I guess uh, there's a uh, volcano on the Big Island, and it's uh, erupting after 40 years. Yeah, yeah. Uh, isn't that where Renee lives? Ooh, I don't and, know. Uh, you know. I haven't heard from Renee in such a long time. I don't know where she is. Neither have I. You know, uh, or anyone else. I don't think. And I went one day. I spent some time trying to look for her. You know, yeah. but didn't come close to finding her. So. Uh, I, I, yeah. Well. She's a nice person. I wish I wish her well. Yeah. You know. She, for some reason, stopped calling the program one day, and that was it. And then when I tried to, you know, I tried to find her on Facebook or places like that, I couldn't find her. So She hasn't made a post in several years. Yeah. So it, you begin to wonder when that happens, you know. And then there was the uh, other guy, uh, retired... Uh, guy on the other side of the island yeah but he, he, he once in a great while he'll call okay yeah. so i know he's okay or at least i assume he's okay i haven't heard from him yeah, he hasn't called no. since uh that earlier eruption uh no he's called oh he has oh yeah okay. yeah he called maybe a year ago oh. you were talking about people t called a year ago folks how do you like that one well you know. uh you know who's not going to be calling who Christine McVeigh. Well, no, she isn't. Of course not. She's, uh, yeah, it's, it's unfortunate. I, I like Fleetwood Mac. They haven't done anything in years, so why Why is her passing going to I haven't. Anything? I don't listen to, to the new music. Uh, you know, when I go to the gym in the morning and they're playing uh, all that. Well, you, you think know. if she's dead, you can't play her old music? No, I, I said I, I like her music, and, I, uh, and you know, the I thought they were okay. It. You know, I wasn't crazy about them, you know. Yeah. You know, I have to admit this, and please, folks, uh, don't hold this against me. Well, you will, because everybody holds things against me. You know who I don't like? I mean, who's never, I've never has, I don't say I don't like him. It's just his music has never appealed to me. Are uh, you going to say Kanye West? No, that goes without saying. <laughs> you know, I've never heard his music. Ever, if you want to call it music, yeah, you know, I, I I don't know what his stuff sounds like. I, I listen if they, if you played me a, if you played me a bunch of songs, right, and you said mm -hmm. now which one is Kanye West, I would yeah. not be able to tell you. Okay, yeah. oh, no, neither could I. Yeah. I couldn't even tell you what clothes he designs or sneakers or well, or, Yeezy, or what, Yeezy, I, I've never is, seen them. Yeezy is the brand. Uh, okay. Yeah, but I've never gone into a store that carries that brand. Yeah, but anyway, uh, Yeezy, yeah, yeah, Yeezy. They were shoes that looked like I don't know. You were walking in waffles. I don't know. It, 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 forget about that. No, we. 
See, you take me off my stride all here. All right, all right. So tell I'm, me I'm the, not, I'm not the gonna song. Tell, I'm not going to tell you. Well, you know, so be a victim. Okay. I'm not going to tell yeah. you. Screw yeah, you. Yeah, you know, you, you want to be a victim. Screw you, uh, you goddamn Republican. You know, <laughs> screw you. I'm, if you think I'm going to just suddenly say, you know. No, yeah. you, you know whose music I, I, I've never gotten into? No, tell me. People are just going to, they're going to go, what? Yeah. Bruce Springsteen. Uh, you know, I understand how you feel. I, I, well, first of all, he's a lib. But beyond that. Well, that's the I reason to, I like him. Yeah. Okay. I went to a Bruce Springsteen concert at the Oakland Coliseum several mm -hmm. years ago. Yeah. And the people were all singing along and everybody knew the words. But I really don't know the words to Bruce Springsteen's songs, and I couldn't hear or understand one word that he was saying. Bruce Springsteen's songs, he said? Uh, song, songs. Songs. Well, maybe he couldn't understand what I was saying either, but... Uh, but anyway, you know, I, you know I, he just, uh, for some reason, I just don't... Uh, I, I've never, never thought he was that great. I always I'm felt... Born he, in the USA. Well, I thought that a lot of stuff he did, he stole. Uh, and oddly Maybe. enough, I'll tell you who he stole a lot from, Phil Spector. Yeah. The arrangements that he used in those early days and stuff, Phil Spector. Well, in fact, Phil Spector people. once got a hold of him and said, if you want to do my music, why don't you do my music? You yeah. know, I mean. Well, hmm? I, weren't there a lot of groups that were influenced by Phil Spector and, uh, you know, the wall of sound and all of that stuff? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Um, you know, the Beach Boys mm -hmm. were influenced by him. Um, but they were also influenced by other people, too. There was a group, years ago, there was a jazz singing group mm -hmm. called the Four Freshmen. And if you ever heard the Four Freshmen... That you, wasn't the Letterman, right? You, you, no, the Four Freshmen. You, oh. you would absolutely say, hey, is that, is that the Beach Boys? Oh. Because they stole their harmonies. Brian and Brian Wilson admits it stole their harmonies from the four freshmen. Mm. Yeah. You know, everything comes from something. Yeah. Well, I mean, look, you are the sum total of things that have influenced you. You know, there yeah. are certain people in this business who, uh, you know, I, I it's not that I stole from them, but I was influenced by them and I took some of the best concepts that they had. Yeah. Uh, in San Francisco, a uh, 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 radio show host by the name of Don Sherwood. Yeah. Uh, everything I Am is about 75% Don Sherwood. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Who, who is the comedian? Uh, now I'm having an, a, a brain fart, but, you know, very famous comedian from the 30s and 40s, Jack Benny. Uh, a lot of your uh, radio persona, I think, uh, is influenced well, by the him. persona, yeah. Uh, the the idea of uh, Jack Benny was a had a persona of a character that really you shouldn't like. He's yeah. cheap. He's this. He's that. So I and there was another aspect of Benny that you probably never noticed when I was working when I was doing a show. No, but um, Benny, I often said about Jack Benny, he wasn't a comedian. Yeah, he was a straight man. Uh, no. No, no. Well, you had his timing. No, you, no, no, no. But let me finish what I'm yeah, saying okay. here, okay? Learn something. He wasn't a comedian. He was a clown. Yeah. Okay, what's the difference between a comedian and a clown? A comedian uh, pulls jokes at the expense of people, okay? And a clown has the jokes pulled on him. Yeah. And Benny was always the butt of every joke, okay? Yeah. Either had to do with his cheapness or his vainness or what, whatever. And I like that. I That just so influenced me that mm -hmm. I made my whole character on radio and people would come on, half the show was putting me down. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, you, you know, you had um, you had a certain timing also. Well, no, I, uh, I, I got that timing from Benny. Yeah. Because I Benny had the best timing of any... Um, comedian clown that ever lived mm -hmm. i mean he knew exactly how much to breathe how much to just pause before he went for the next line or for the punch line you know i mean the fam now, the famous one is he's being robbed 
<laughs> then a guy says, your money or your life. And there's this big, long pause. And he knew exactly how long to take that pause. Yeah. I mean, imagine a pause on radio, folks. A pause on radio, right? Yeah. And then he said, I'm thinking it over. (laughs) Uh, You know, and... Still funny to this day. Still funny to this day. The the biggest laugh any uh, joke ever got on radio. Yeah. The laugh lasted with the audience about 45 seconds, something like that. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, he was great. His timing was great. Benny influenced me a lot. Yeah. I will mm-hmm. have to say that. Was that influence uh, something that you took on once you got to San Francisco or did you oh, no, use no, no, no. in I, previous? Uh, always. 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 More so when I was in San Francisco, only because. I was working with comedians by that time. Yeah. And so therefore, with working with comedians, I had to be a kind of straight man, but I had to have my own persona. Mm-hmm. So, you know, there were a lot of jokes people would pull on me. Yeah. You know, it was oh, many times at my expense. I couldn't do it continually like Benny did because Benny only had to do a half hour a week. I yeah. had to do four hours uh a day, day five, five days, days a, week. a week. So yeah, I had to parcel that out a little bit, you know. But I mean, I loved Benny. I thought I grew up listening to Benny when I was a kid. You know, he was my my favorite person on radio. I liked him, and I liked Edgar Bergen and Charlie McCarthy because mm-hmm. kids would like the that. Uh, the puppet, um, the ventriloquist, and his dummy. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Um, and, um, I never, you know, there's a joke in a Woody Allen movie called Radio Days, which is one of my favorite Woody Allen films because it's about radio Mm -hmm. and it's about the love of radio. And there's a, there's a thing where they're listening to a ventriloquist on the radio and the kid says, how do they know his lips aren't moving? (laughs) You know, and that's what I always thought when I was a kid. Hey, he's a ventriloquist. Yeah, but his lips aren't moving. Yeah. Are they? Well, you know, how do you know his lips aren't moving? It's radio. I didn't, I never could figure out, I guess when he did the show, because it was in front of a live audience, he actually had the dummy there, but he really didn't have to have the dummy there for the radio audience, you know? Yeah. Yeah. He could have just, he could have just done his thing. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, I don't know if you want to move on to, but I just read that there's a new thing that the VIP is no longer the most exclusive position you can have. Now it's VVIP, a very, very important person. Really? Where'd you hear that? Are you going to change your uh, shtick to I used to be a VVIP? No, no. (laughs) All right. Uh, Let's see what else. Oh, Elon Musk. Oh, God. Uh, He just sent out an email. Mm -hmm. He wants people to come closer to him. So he has a, uh, a floor now at Twitter. And he wants people to sit on the floor instead of using chairs. So there's no more chairs at Twitter. He, he's getting rid of the chairs. I think we have a guy here who has slowly lost his mind. I don't know. You know. Huh? Uh, I, I think what he's doing is great. And, uh, he's, no, I, he, think, he's I, think, I, I think it's wasting his bandwidth. It's wasting what he does best. He should have taken Twitter, said, here's what I want Twitter to be, and then just left and had somebody else run it. Do you You think anyone could have done the things with the panache that he does? What? uh, The panache? Whip it around? Oh, you mean to lose 50% of your advertisers? Well, I, you know, he's making an effort to bring those advertisers back. And there's really no Uh, no, reason that those advertisers should there's there's definitely a reason that came out today. Uh, He's going to start allowing uh, people who don't believe in... um, uh, the COVID vaccines to have a voice on Twitter. Uh, uh-huh. uh, uh, you know, it, there are a whole bunch of things. And, and in Europe, uh, many European countries have said they're going to stop carrying Twitter. You know, there are a lot of people that don't believe in the COVID vaccine. Well, Just because, uh, you know, people have a different opinion. I mean, it's up to them whether well, they want to. Well, it depends on how they not. how they actuate that. If they do it in a way that makes people not take it, okay, then yeah. it's questionable. 
You but know. you know, you have your own. Uh, uh, All it, I'm it saying is, is that, that you, you can choose. You know, he's uh, uh, he is. I swear to you, I'll bet you any amount of money you got. Twitter will be out of business by the end of next year. Well, I, I'll bet you this Bitcoin. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. Right. <laughs> you know, uh, talking about Bitcoin, I guess there are more. Bitcoin type companies that are uh, taking it on the chin and uh, I have a feeling that Bitcoin itself has still got some value uh, but um, when I heard the interview with um, Bankman Freed or whatever his name is the, the, the guy who was hanging out who, who just went bankrupt and is about uh, to be arrested yeah go ahead yeah, yeah. he said uh, what he did was he developed a box and this box was empty. And then he had another company that bought stuff uh, or said they had something. They put it in the box and they sold it back and forth to one another and said this is and they increased the value of what was in the box, sort of marketing. And uh, people saw the rise in value and they got greedy and they started buying in. And then when the house of cards fell, uh, a lot of people lost their money, mi millions and millions, or actually, yeah, millions of dollars uh, that other people invested, mm -hmm. uh, including some uh, high-profile celebrities. Uh, wasn't uh, one of the guys on uh, Shark Tank? Uh, what's his name? It was, uh, wasn't Mark Cuban, was it? Uh, I don't know. I don't know any of those people that were investing in. Yeah, it was either Mark, uh, Mark Cuban or who's the bald guy on Shark Tank? Kevin? Uh, I don't think Kevin would have done that. Uh, I, well, Kevin O'Leary. Yeah, yeah. I don't one, think one, he, I don't one think, of those two. I don't think he would have invested in in. Uh, uh, who was the one that uh, did the commercial for uh, uh, crypto? Well, quite a few people. Uh, no, this was. Uh, I think you had mentioned that it was on the. Uh, Larry David did a commercial. Oh, it was Larry David did on the foot for that for the company this guy had. Yeah. Yeah, he did it for the Super Bowl, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Well, anyway, it it looks like that house of cards is falling. Uh, as long as we're rambling, mm -hmm. where I buy my camera equipment in San Francisco, mm -hmm. uh, that, uh, I buy at Camera West. Mm -hmm. And uh, Saturday, there was a smash and grab. It's a Leica boutique, mm -hmm. and they sell Nikon and Canon. Yeah. And uh, they, uh, some guys, three, four guys went in with guns, smashed all the cabinets, and within three minutes took $180,000 worth of uh, Leica cameras. That was two cameras. That was <laughs> two, two cameras. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. two cameras. That's but, it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so amazing! They did thirty, twenty, or thirty thousand dollars worth of damage to the um, to the uh, cabinets. Uh, they, you know, well, hold that, these. That that's insured, so that's taken care of. Yeah, but uh, you know, it's just an and, and the cameras, for that matter, are insured as well. I mean, if you yeah. you're robbed uh, and they disappear, you you know, somebody's going to some insurance company's going to pay for that. And well, uh, I don't feel sorry for the insurance companies. Okay. No, it's just that. Uh, can you imagine the trauma? of working in one of these places and you're sitting there talking to some guy about f stops and shutter speed and you know oh you know look at the led screen and then all of a sudden the guy comes in three four guys with guns smash the whole place up grab everything no, and, they didn't uh, grab uh, everything they only grab you said a hundred and what eighty thousand eighty thousand worth of 180 camera. yeah, yeah 180. that's not a lot i mean they could how many cameras could they carry out with them well, uh, average Leica cameras between six and twenty thousand. Yeah, but so, also, how how much do they weigh? Uh, not much, uh, you know. I two mean, pounds. I mean, but I mean, how many can you take? How many uh, you, you can you can you take? Could you take ten of them? At least, yeah. Well, well, if you got four guys and each guy took three or four, maybe they had some duffel bags or something. They must have taken expensive cameras. Oh yeah, Leicas aren't cheap. Yeah. Uh, you know, they're. It's not they're, that they cost Leica anything to make them. It's just that they're not cheap. <laughs> yeah. Know? No. They, they, or they're, let's put it this way: they're overpriced. Okay. Yeah. Well, if you're a dentist or a doctor, you get a Leica, mm -hmm. and if you're like me, you get an Icon. <laughs> yeah. 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 But. but uh, no. uh, oh, I, I got um, talk, uh, camera. I got my new screen. 
Uh, so it's a little bit smaller than the old one, but it's actually freed up a lot of desk space. Uh, and it, uh, Everybody's it, interested in that, Phil. Yeah. Yeah, they were sitting right. around writing me saying, when is Phil getting his new... Uh, new screen. Uh, new screen, yeah. yeah. Okay, well, <laughs> I guess uh, they're, they're having more layoffs at CNN. Uh, and, uh, oh, MacBook Pros are being discounted. Uh, uh, Mac, yeah, MacBook Pros. That's uh, the... Um, yeah, but the, that's the Apple. lowest end. It is. Yeah, I think that's. I think that's the lowest end. Maybe it was. It's the air. But one of them, they 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 have lowered the price on it this time of the year. But yeah, the well, fact is that I, if I were them, I wouldn't lower the price on them because they. It, where are they going to make them? Right. You know. Well, I mean, in China, uh, they've got a problem. They've got a problem at the uh, at the Foxconn factory. Yeah. And well, if you are, if you want to get lay your hands on a uh, iPhone, you better do it right now because they may not be around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they can't get the chips and, and things like that. No, it's not that they can't get the chips; they can't, oh, they can't get, get the, the people, people to make, make them. them. And right. by the way, you were wrong about something the other day because you said, "Oh, did you hear about the people protesting at Foxconn?" Yeah, and the re you you gave us a reason. I can't remember what was it. Uh, what was your working re conditions? I working thought. conditions it has nothing to do with working conditions. Oh, uh, what was it? It had to do with the COVID lockdowns, and oh. and the stringent rules that they had to go with for uh, you know, which is now affecting the whole country. But yeah, Foxconn, there's, there's... the demonstrations were against that. They were against, you know. So, yeah, well, but, I guess people are demonstrating all over the world. You know, what's happening in China is this is they're standing up to Xi. And I don't think that it's going all that well for those protesters, but it's also not going all that well for uh, protesters in Iran uh, and the uh, the soccer team. Uh, uh, they say that if the first off the soccer team in uh, in, in an effort to support the uh, uh, what was going on in the protests in Iran refused these to sing the anthem. Uh, then the Iranian government said, if next opportunity to sing the anthem, you don't sing the anthem, we're going to kill your relatives. And uh, How do you know they said that? It was, uh, it, was, it was on the news. How did the word get out that they were told that their relatives would be killed? I don't remember where I heard it, but uh, no, you that's, see, I mean, they were they you're, you're, their families. You're probably listening to Fox. You know, of course I, I'm I, listening to Fox. Even if that were true, you wouldn't be able to find out. Okay, that would be well, held close I, to the well, vest. I guess there, you know, there were threats, and uh, so the next time no, they I had was the worried about it just because they lost. <laughs> yeah, oh, somebody yeah. also said that uh, because they lost, they uh, the government was unhappy with them, and they lost to the United States. Yeah, which yeah. Uh, which is even more embarrassing, right? You know? So, but you know, I mean, Phil, just be just don't don't believe th those things. You know, they're not necessarily Why? you believe not, the other stuff. They're not necessarily true. Well, you believe all kinds of crap. Well, yeah, you know, I mean, how do you feel about I'm how happy. do you feel about Trump having Kanye over to dinner? Well, you know, well, here you go. You, You're going to go with the excuse. Story? You're going to go with. Did, I know yeah, what did he you said. hear the whole story. I know what his side of the story is. Right, and that, that was that was dinner. after that was after the fact when he tried to uh, prevent people from yelling and screaming at him. Well, look, he, he, that dinner was set up long before the. Black G, the Black Jew thing. Oh, and, yeah. oh uh, really? Oh, really? Yeah. See, so you don't even really know the real story, and you're you're coming well, out with I'm, this. I'm giving you the no, story. No, the story that Trump said was he didn't invite Kanye over to dinner. He just showed up at his front door. That's correct. But the uh, and the guy he showed up with, another anti-Semite, uh, uh, Trump didn't even know who he was. Didn't know uh, who he was. Right. Don't you think that he knows everybody that walks in the doors of that people place? Because the 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 he still has Secret Service protection. Mm -hmm. and don't you think they told him who this guy was? Didn't Kanye West also say on an interview show that that was true? So that, what was you know, true? Trump, that Trump didn't know who this uh, the other guy was. Well, I never heard of him either. But you know, yeah. and. Uh, uh, so, but you I see, guess, I would never let Kanye show up at my front door. Well, 
Uh, maybe you didn't want to cause a stink. Uh, you didn't want to cause a stink. You, 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 you're aware of what Kanye has been saying recently, and you say, if they say, hey, Kanye West is down here, he wants to come up and see you, you say, turn him away, I don't want him coming in. No, that would have been that would have been a smarter decision. Well, than a smarter decision from a very stupid guy. Well, I, you know, uh, he's well, no longer the president, and uh, you know he's citizen Trump now, and uh, you know he may he may. I I think Trump likes celebrities. I think that uh, because no, Kanye celebrities they have to have two two conditions. They have to be a celebrity, yeah. and they have to kiss his ass. Well, they he Kanye did kiss his ass at the White House, and uh, you know maybe he just didn't want to uh, create uh, an adverse, uh, you know, a, a bad environment and and have a have an issue. But would you say that Kanye's career is over with? I would say that it's been damaged, uh, 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 possibly beyond repair. Yeah, and and I uh, he has he has problems. And I'll mental. tell you, you know, I mean. Um, Elon Musk has lost me, completely yeah. lost me because he's gone crazy with this thing. Well, I don't think so. He he's he's giving a voice to people that were disenfranchised. No, no, no. He's not giving a voice to anybody, Phil. What he's doing is he's taken a business that was making a certain amount of money, cut down the losing uh, money. Uh, well, it was not losing money. It was it was make it was making a minor profit. Yeah. Okay. As, as long as wasn't uh, wasn't as as I don't know where you heard losing, about the box. But but he, he well he he claims with the bots that uh, they overestimated how many people use the service. Okay. Yeah. But the advertisers, fifty percent of his advertisers dropped immediately. Got yeah, gone. Think, they're gone and they're not coming back. Well, we'll see. I know. Uh, um, uh, Paramount Plus dropped them because I was told I was at lunch uh, with my daughter and dropped uh, she, who? Uh, Twitter advertising. Oh, they were. Uh, oh, Paramount Plus. Yeah, but that's that's one company. Well, that's yeah. the one my daughter works for now, and yeah, uh, and she, uh, you know she, uh, she that's what she told me. Yeah, and why did they do it? Um, I, I'm probably pressure from uh, the woke executives that uh, run uh, Hollywood. Those Jews. Yeah, no, I don't. <laughs> I, you know, I'm sick and tired of of using as an excuse for everything woke. You know, maybe it's true. Am you I know, am I woke? Am I the woke? Left, am I woke? The left. Am I the woke? Left am I woke? Yes, the left attacks uh, anybody that uh, it slightly goes away from mm. their type of thinking. Look, look at what they're doing to um, Tulsi Gabbard. You know, uh, as long as she was in lockstep with the Democrats, uh, she was a star. As soon as she said, hey, mm -hmm. look, you know, I'm exposing what's going on in Washington, and yeah. this is... And the Republicans is, yeah. aren't the same way. What do you mean? If you don't go in lockstep with the Republicans, you're oh, out. I, I, absolutely. Oh, they're they're all they're all the same. Uh, you know, uh, I I don't know I don't know where to go for the truth anymore. Are you he are you here to maybe say maybe Twitter is going to be the last bastion of truth? Twitter's going to be the last bastion of truth. It never yeah. was a bastion of truth. Oh. okay. Yeah. Yeah. You know? uh, you know, one other thing, I read a, uh, a thing about mm -hmm. uh, uh, hate crimes, and it mm -hmm. seems that 60% of the hate crimes that are perpetrated are perpetrated against the Jews, and, uh, and there's only 2.5% of the population that are Jews. Maybe Twitter is going to be the last bastion of truth. Uh, yeah. It was such a good statement, it got repeated. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I can't understand why you're worried about anti-Semitism. Then you don't mind Kanye West having dinner with Donald Trump. I don't. It makes no sense, Phil. <laughs> it's there's cold, there, right? there's no so no con, there's no consistency there. Oh, you're never going to change Kanye West's mind by by pushing him in the corner. You're only going to change it by 
uh, being positive and oh, doing I the see. right thing. The good boy, good boy. Listen to me. Just calm mm -hmm. down. Uh, nice yeah, fella. Yeah, okay. Nice fella. Be a victim. Be yeah. a victim. Yeah. Go ahead. Call me a kike. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, yes, Alan. Uh, first of all, uh, good evening. So, uh, they, there, there's three types of news people can get on this show. They can get in, in descending order of truth. Mm -hmm. You can go to CNN and get the most truth. Then you can go to Fox News and get uh, less truth. Or you can listen to Phil Meyer and get no truth. <laughs> so the, 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 the store that was broke into, there's videotape surveillance. One guy had a gun, not a bunch of guys rushing in the store with guns. One oh, guy had a gun. Big deal. Yeah, well, Alan. You, know, you being a gun guy, you should know that. Who you cares? You know it was an armed robbery, was. and those people were complicit. The other, the other people that were there, when there's an armed robbery and one guy kills somebody, then all the people are up for murder charges. When so one guy me, goes in with a gun and the other ones, are, it's, it's an armed robbery. They're all complicit. Hmm. And you know that. Is, yeah, what's your point, though? My point is... Uh, you're, you're, uh, they don't know. They don't know where they're at yet, so they've got to find them to arrest them in order to charge them. Well, uh, oh, yeah, how many right, cameras right. did you buy? No, uh, yeah, none. <laughs> I'm not that stupid, so. And I didn't oh, overpay sorry, sorry. for it. I didn't overpay for a, a monitor either. Yes, yeah, uh, uh, Charlie. I, I just want to go back to what they were talking about. What y'all were talking about with Elon Musk. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people don't believe in gravity, but if somebody had a website that allowed people to post false information about gravity that was convincing people that it was okay to jump off the top of skyscrapers, I wouldn't want to advertise on that place either. See? You, you, I, I think you read about that on Trump's uh, Twitter <laughs> site, right? Actually, I haven't ever gone on Truth Social. Really? Really? Yeah. I thought you'd have that. Neither has anybody else. <laughs> but I don't go on Twitter either. And uh, although I, I probably will just to support Elon Musk and what he's doing, because I think that he's uh, a pretty stand-up oh, you, you, you like the fact that he uh, is going to allow anti-Semitic rants to go on on Twitter? I don't think he's going to do that. Oh, yes, he, he says has. he already has. Well, they just have to get a handle on. No, uh, he has already that. said that he would allow that sort of thing. Well, then... Uh, I mean, what's the difference, anti-Semitic or Trump? What's the difference? There's a big difference. Hmm. Uh, you know, I I think that he wants the, the platform to be free speech, and it's going to no, take No, it's not free speech. Iron. He's he's taking people off of it. Yeah, well, you say something bad about off. Elon, say how long, stay, see how long you stay he, on. He even dumps his ex-girlfriend's Amber Heard's <laughs> uh, uh, account was uh, removed. She owes him money. He's out. <laughs> She's probably going to talk bad about him. Get what do you mean? Him. She had one of his kids. Really? Yeah. Oh, my God. Yes. Why Mary did she give gone. it back? <laughs> anyway. Hello, Tony. How are you doing? I'm okay. I'm hanging in there. You know, you're going to have to get rid of that mirror or change your back because people are going to have to make up a new background. Oh, you know what it is? <laughs> Hold on. I'll, I'll move the computer back over there. Oh. You don't have to do it now. Just do it hey, later. I'll do it later. Okay. You know, yeah. Tony doesn't know where he is. They irradiated him. Yeah, I'm getting uh, irradiated. Wow. Yeah. On Monday? I started Monday, yeah. Oh, I thought you were not hit that with the radiation. <laughs> no. It, it, I made friends in the room, Alex, in the office there. Yeah, isn't that fun? Isn't that fun, though, fun, though, just lying there as that thing kind of goes around? and. Yeah, you know, I kind of closed my... First, they put me down. I, I was a little nervous. They at first put you down? They school. wanted to put you to sleep? Uh, no, I wanted to lay down, so they put my feet in the thing. So the lady goes, doggy. do you want to hear any music? I said, well, they had Pandora. I said, yeah, put, put on Dylan or something. So she put it on, like, Pandora or something. So I didn't know what to expect, so I was laying down, right? And I see the machine coming up. I said, I kind of took a peek, and then I kind of just... Closed my eyes and just vegged out for like the eight minutes. It's weird, like really. You know, it's funny. What's lighting. funny? I, you know, I really think you should have gone and saw uh, to see if you could get the, uh, uh, the, you know, the one that I had, which is the laser uh, knife. Five. Oh, when you did five things. 
five five sessions and you're in there for about i would say 45 minutes and and most of it is them just setting the thing up and getting right and so on and yeah. then when they finally do it it's like you know it takes really two mind minutes it. i mean yeah I, and i, I, and I liked the little thing as it would come by every time I had this little red I light and it. i would say hi how you doing pal you know i was, thinking, I was like i asked the like the doctor because uh, you know the lady was working it it is so high tech so she's like, tony you're done no, that one's five yeah, minutes yeah but that, that one's not done. high tech High tech is the one that you can do in. Oh, I mean, like it's really gonna in five. But I mean, I mean, it's so precise. Like you don't even. Did you feel tired, Alex? Or all? I felt a little tired last night, but I think it was because of the weather. No, I didn't feel tired from it. I feel fine now, really. You know, I, I, I I'm trying to remember. Did I have any any effects from it? No, not really. You know, uh, but do you go in every day? Yeah, every day. Every day. See, I I went in every other day for a yeah. week and a half. Alex, did you lose your hair? <laughs> I was like, I laid down until he said, You can go home now. I said, I'm done? Listen to two songs. I said, You can go. Yeah, can they demonetize this? <laughs> because I'm not saying anything. Only if you put it up your nose. I can't believe I'm living vicariously now. Whatever Phil got and you, I got. This is great. I'm actually enjoying it now, really. My sister's bringing me well, That makes me feel guilty about home. even having it at all. You hey, know. you know, the show gives us cancer. I blame Phil. Wait till I come out there and visit. I want McDonald's for nothing. Hey, uh, I had an MRI on Monday. Oh, what's going on? I left out you, from this you, medical You can't thing. get me to do an MRI. I Just, didn't like that. Well, mine moment. was on my knee, yeah. and they yeah. my head was not in the machine. Yeah. Oh, that's not that bad then. Yeah. It, it was It was loud. Uh, yes. It was, Phil, did you feel cold? Was it knocking any air out of you, or, like underneath your legs? Well, not really. Uh, those all those all, all those uh, x-rays and so on uh, the rooms are pretty cold yeah, yeah you're right. you know, they're pretty cold that. yeah i don't know well, the equipment gets hot is that it uh -huh. yeah they have to keep yeah that, they don't want the equipment to overheat yeah right. oh i thought it was to make my nipples hard but uh the, the uh <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I, had that, I had that problem when I was having sex. Uh, you know, my <laughs> my equipment overheating. Yeah, I have a torn. But I think it was caused by friction. Yeah, I I have a torn meniscus. That's you why my knee hurts. Oh, yeah, I, had, I had a torn I meniscus. Hey, don't be a wuss. <laughs> you have a torn meniscus. Uh, I learned that what you do is you just uh, don't uh, don't use that knee like you did to get that. And eventually oh. it goes away. Mine's gone away completely. Uh, I'm oh, not it's sure. Fine. It's hard to <clears throat> hard to understand the analysis. I have. They're gonna call me, uh, but it's. I think it's totally torn, and uh, a totally torn meniscus. How yeah. do you do wow. that? Uh, well, you I gotta I, be a Republican. Tony. It may have it's exacerbated torn. because of the CrossFit. Uh, oh, Phil, you might be going. pushing yourself. Oh, like let's you see go. here. Let's see here. I, I'm doing, I'm exercising so I can be healthier, and then you tear your meniscus. Okay, good going, Phil. There, there's proof that exercise is bad for you. Yeah, <laughs> really. Well, you know, they you, you use weights, and I'm I'm put, you know I'm pretty strong in my upper body, so I'm, I'm pushing some heavier weights, and uh, I'm doing squats with them, and uh, what are they, uh, jerks, which is good. You know, Go ahead. Uh, tear the meniscus even more yeah well I, I i bought this thing that goes over your knee uh called a go sleeve and uh it's like taping your knee up to hold it in position but it's a sleeve that just fits over it and it gives a lot more support and yeah. since i started wearing that uh it doesn't hurt as much did they give you a crutch <laughs> no well <laughs> I, they haven't or, or a cane. Me i'm being serious He's the only guy who go with the cross well, and come I, out of the I actually <laughs> went to um, I went to uh, oh. what do you call it uh, physical therapy for so my tor I. for my torn meniscus. So did I? I was on crutches for three weeks. Wow. Really? I, I had a, I had a cane for two months. Well, what happened I don't was know if no it was going to be a surgery or not. No, no, uh, you, don't, you no. probably don't have to have it. I I uh, I what happened was I was sitting on the floor doing something and then I got up on my knee and all of a sudden it hurt like hell yeah, and then it just kept hurting and it? kept hurting and kept hurting I went to my doctor my leg doctor 
And uh, he took an x-ray. He said, torn meniscus. He says, go do some physical therapy. You know? Burn like hell. That's like when you stub your toe. Y yeah, I, but then... When I then tore as, my meniscus, I was almost in tears. Well, yeah. I was just very careful for about a year not to... Yep. Like, I what happened, I, every night when I would get into bed, I would get into bed by putting that knee on the bed first. I yeah. had to teach myself to put the other knee on the bed first. Otherwise, yeah. I could throw it out again. Eventually, yeah. after a year, year and a half, uh, uh, my meniscus was fine. Yep. You know, so. Well, I oh. had pieces all in my knee, so they had to go in and at least take the pieces out. So. Uh, orthoscopic so surgery? Yeah, you don't, you yeah, don't want surgery, yeah. Bill. If you can avoid surgery for a torn meniscus, you don't want it. Because most people that have surgery mm -hmm. need knee replacement shortly after. Yeah. So that's why they're not yeah. big into surgery with meniscus. Hello to Ray, by the way. Hello. Yeah, there he is. Don't put your background up for Tony, because you see he's changed mm -hmm. it. Yeah. Oh, oh that's too bad. Yeah, he's trying to fake us out. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Phil, I had meniscus But wait a minute. Surgery. You have a watermark on that picture. Oh, let me put a different one. Stolen <laughs> <laughs> from Adobe. He went and stole it from somewhere, and it had like the, you know, the. Uh, yeah, the Adobe symbol. Actually, I have the. I do. I do have the real one. I just put the wrong one. The, oh no! Oh, Shit! <laughs> I just go with the default there. <laughs> yeah. Notice the wallpaper. Yeah, yeah just put a pony's thing. Phil's yeah. gonna have to do it now too. Yeah. So anyway, um, so what did y'all do for Thanksgiving? What'd you do, Phil? Uh, I went to uh, a friend's house on the way to a restaurant. So uh, I um, had some, uh, you know, Thanksgiving traditional stuff. And then I went uh, to the Dead Fish Company in uh, Crockett. And let me tell you something. I, this was such an awful meal. I sent it back twice. And then I just said, give me the check, and I'm leaving. You that, had fish uh, dessert? Yeah, they, they, I ordered crab. And they, it's $100 for... Why order plate. it when you are one already? Yeah, <laughs> um, that's crab -y. <laughs> There's a difference between crab and crab-y. Uh, no, so, crab and uh, crab-like. Yeah, yeah. crab-like. Well, crab-ish. My anyway. birthday is June 24th, and I am a cancer. So that's the crab. Uh, anyway, uh, the... We get there. I don't know if you want to hear the whole story, but they uh, they said, "Oh well, our sure." I got a lot of time to waste here. So okay. just, uh, <laughs> their reservation ahead. system went down. All right, I understand. They said we're we're behind forty five minutes. Oh, okay, gosh. I understand. So uh, why did a, you go to this place in the first place? Did you actually have it recommended by somebody, or, or, or you I've been there twice there. before, oh, and okay. it was wonderful. It, it was it, it was wonderful uh and, and this time it wasn't yeah oh this time it was the worst well you know what happens you ever notice that sometimes you have a restaurant you really like you know and you go to it every you go to it all the time <laughs> and all of a sudden one day you go in and it suddenly is terrible and you figure <laughs> hey, i'll give it one more chance and you go back and you realize it became terrible yeah i, I wouldn't go back <laughs> i uh, told you to go to Ray's crab shack <laughs> yeah, well, I like Ray's Crab Shack. Did you say it was called the Dead Fish Company? Yeah, in Crockett. <laughs> yeah. Well, well no wonder it's so right as opposed to the Live Fish Company. <laughs> you know, having a name like <laughs> Dead Fish <laughs> Company, you better be good. Otherwise, you'll you know you never get any business. That's like yeah. Alex's old joke of the live nude girls. Yeah, they used to have. Yeah, uh, you used to have posters outside of these these uh, saloons. Sex places it said on Broadway. Li live nude nude women. And I'm going, well, you know, can you tell me, can you point me to the place where I can go see dead nude women? Uh, you know. My uh, friend Duke uh, had a place, $1, talk to a nude girl. Uh, yeah, I remember that. Yeah. yeah. Except for Phil was in the box. Uh, actually, I put the floors in. I had, a, I had a girl, I had a girlfriend that worked in there. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, the one on Columbus or or Tiffany's? You also own Tiffany's. No, no. This is no. This was the uh, the one on this was one dollar. One dollar. Yeah. Talk to a naked woman, and you know the thing goes up, and you talk. I think they raised right. it to two bucks because uh, and, women... and you put in the Susan B. Anthony's, and it had a stage that I carpeted, 
that uh, went around mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, it had these windows. You put the Susan B. Anthony in dollar. And they'd rub themselves against the windows and all yeah, that. Right. You know, uh, I I was never there when there were people in there. <laughs> Man, you oh, put God. the money in, you see him doing the right. I'm telling you, Bill was on? laying carpet, <laughs> people <laughs> putting <laughs> coins in, and they saw him <laughs> instead. Whoa! <laughs> I want my money back. <laughs> But, uh, I knew how to trip the thing without putting the money. She, in. she just uh -huh. she just liked working there because all she had to do was take her clothes off and just uh, you know talk to do people. You think they for made like, a lot of money those places, Alex? They oh yeah. Them, well, at a dollar. I mean, I was going to ask really you, the rent with a dollar going in? I would say it was wasn't that high then. The rents weren't that high. No, no. Yeah, you never been to one of those places, Tony? The closest I came was when I was dropping off hats. The closest you came? You mean you've never come before? <laughs> Meaning like we dropped off hats by Arnie's place, which is around the corner from 42nd. And they used, this is back in the day. He had two stores, the guy. One on 42nd and one around the corner. And it was always like in that area where you say it was the peep shows. And I always used to always say when dropping off, we used to, when we used to have to go around 42nd, he used to always tell me the old guy. Oh, you dropping half? Well, I went. I, I went to those people. Keep your shows. wallet in your front pocket. He said they'll cut it out with a knife yeah. if it's in the back pocket. He said. Yeah. Well, I you went to. I went to those 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 peep shows. You did that? Well, in those days, you didn't yeah. have videotape. You no. know, you didn't no. have. You couldn't. You Eight know, this, millimeter. This is one place you could see hardcore sex, and yeah. you were also in the privacy of a booth. So if you wanted to, you know, beat off, you could. Was yeah. that one and, and believe it or not, I knew a guy whose job it was to clean the booths. Oh. <laughs> they have a name. And his, yeah, he had, the term he, he they had for him uh, for the job was scum dubbers. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Are they have a union? Are they in a union? <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. Like, Did you do a midnight blues? Yeah, thing and they want and they want sick days pay too. Yeah. 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 <laughs> You get an hour lunch. Imagine what is the price. You get an hour lunch. <laughs> oh no! I mean, no, I got a new job. You get the interview. I don't know if I had that job if I'd want to take an hour lunch or even eat lunch ever again. <laughs> you think they wash their hands? <laughs> That's how you become a. Flunker. Oh, those places. The most permeating dubber. smell <laughs> in those places was the smell of Lysol. Oh. Yeah. So he's looking at him like, who goes in? I had one right near Well, now house. you know who goes in now there. Now I know. I wouldn't probably yeah. let you go on this. She's dead. Oh, my God. So she would have had a family friend. Ray, Ray, had, Ray had one in the nearest house. Did they have a lot Santa of those Clara. in Palo Alto? I had one in, when I lived in Santa Clara. There was one right on El Camino around the corner. Yeah. Huge one. Huge. There was how like 10 booths in there. How much did you spend a day in there? I never went in the booths. Uh -huh. yeah, see, today I don't. I, I could. I was scared. I was like that. I mean, the, uh, it just scared the shit out of me. Did you go into the VIP lounge? No, they didn't have any girls there. <laughs> you it's know, I often wonder magazines is, and is and how they made lotion. money. Uh, how they uh, today? How they make money with the porn business? I don't know. know. It, when it, when Duke had one dollar talk for talk to a nude girl, there were these mafia type guys that put the eight millimeter booths really? in, and they would get. The money from the eight, uh, fifty percent, I think, from the eight millimeter booths. Mm. You know, they came in and they, you know, they. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I always thought they were fronts for doing other things. Like I always wondered. No. Like, no. Maybe. Yeah. Duke didn't allow any prostitution. No, but maybe like drugs or something in the back or something. Maybe they were wondering. No. To show they you what were... my life was like here in New York. Yeah, I would have loved them. You could have probably thought. I the I went into one of these peep shows once, and I went in. I put a quarter in. Yeah. And. The woman who was having sex in the film literally was a woman I had, Hi, Alex. was a woman I had been dating. <gasps> oh Jesus. <laughs> oh, my God. Some of those films are pretty old. Wait a minute. You know Wait right minute. away? So yeah, so then I decided it was a silent movie. That's enough for me. I I don't I don't <laughs> you know, I don't want to see this. You did know. You, how did you feel? Did you feel like oh my god? Well, no, I kind of felt like I had a I had a friend who was a porn actress. Uh, 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 what was her name again? Annie uh, Sprinkles. Well, Annie mm. Sprinkle is one of them, but I could never watch. For instance, I'll give you a good example. Annie Sprinkle. I could never watch her porn films because mm. I know her. Okay, yeah, and I kind of feel I kind of feel that when you when you uh, uh, know somebody and they're in a porn film, you don't want to watch the porn film because it's kind of like you walked into the room while they were screwing. 
you know, and oops, I'll, uh, I'll be back later. You know, well, how did that work for you with Midnight Blue? And well, I know that that was well, that's you know, one of the reasons why hardcore. some. So then I went into another booth and yeah. there was another woman I was going out with. Oh, my and that God. Booth was 50 cents. <laughs> But um, um, yeah. Well, so. you got to find better places to pick yeah. up. Yeah, go see a regular movie. <laughs> better women. <laughs> you know, it's a funny story I have. My mother came to visit me one and time. And you took her to a in, booth. In, no. <laughs> oh Jesus! I don't think you go that crazy. Don't talk no. about my mother that way. I mean, she's dead. It doesn't matter. Anyway, my too. She's probably talking to him. This is the guy you listen to. <laughs> anyway, so I, I, my mother's visiting me, right? And uh, so I figured she's visiting, but I'm not going to change my lifestyle. You know, I had a couple of girlfriends and I'm going to have them come over and she's all the way down in the living room. I'm all the way back in the bedroom. She's not going to hear what's going on, but I got to go on with my life. I'm not going to be celibate for the four weeks that she's there. Right. So finally, at the end of the time that she's there and she's getting ready to leave, uh, we're sitting down, we're talking. She says, you know, I don't like that one girl you're seeing. And he, she named the person. Ooh. And I said, oh, well, too bad. You know, I said, she's very accomplished. I said, she's a graphic artist. She does, uh, uh, you know, uh, what do you call it? That's where they spray the paint on. Um, uh, graffiti. Graffiti artist? No. <laughs> no, it's called the uh, the uh, 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 well. Anyway, she she did book covers and things like that. And I said, you didn't like her, huh? I said any of my girlfriends you like? And she mm -hmm. says, yeah, I really like that Rhoda. She was really nice. She, I I liked her. You know, you should see more of her. And mm -hmm. I went, you know what she does for a living, mom? She <laughs> said, what? I said, she's a porn actress. After I took her tongue out of her throat, you know, I had put a stick in her mouth from then on. I mean, uh, my mother was a bad judge of character, you know. In fact, the one she didn't like, uh, her her, uh, her aunt and uncle wrote The Way We Were. Holy shit, my mother loved that yeah, Alan and Marilyn Bergman, yeah. Really? And uh, she got very sick, and I went out to her house out in Long Island to visit her. And uh, she said, uh, "Let me. I want to show you something." I said, "Okay." She said, "This is a letter my father wrote to my mother, asking her to marry him, and they kept it, right?" And I, I look at it and I read it, and he he finishes. He starts the letter off by writing. What are you doing the rest of your life? That's the movie. Yeah. And, and, and I said, the movie, my God, that's one of the, the Bergman yes. songs. I said, yeah, that's where they got it. You wow. know, yeah. That's pretty genius. Yeah. Were you friends with cool. Nina Hartley? Did you know her? I knew Nina Hartley. I wasn't close to Nina Hartley, but I knew Nina Hartley. Yeah. She lived in Berkeley, I think. Yeah. Or maybe she still does. I mean. Yeah. Yeah. You had a lot of porn people living in the Bay Area. Yeah, who was that other one too? She went to Cal. Hmm. I think you knew her. I can't remember her name. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yes, uh, yes, uh, Alan. So uh, my friend picks up this uh, actress or whatever, brings her back to the house. His mother lives there. His mother's deaf, can't hear. So he says, "Mom, we're gonna, you know, gives her sign. We're gonna be in a room with the girl, and we go in there. We're both about seventeen or eighteen, sixteen, or something like that." We go in and, and I, I realize that there's no towels in the room. So I go out to get a towel. I put my put my you know shorts back on because I know his mother's gonna be there. His mother has a stethoscope in her ears and has got the thing up against the wall <laughs> listening to everything that's going on. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Could have used the glass. Yeah. Hey but Alex, I remember I do. Was Christy Canyon. <laughs> we got cameras nowadays. Oh, Christy Canyon. Yeah. Yeah, you interviewed her a couple times. Yeah, I knew her too. We we yeah. went we went out and had lunch on on occasion and so on. She seemed pretty cool. She was cool. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, I mean, just she because people around the just because people were in porn films didn't mean they weren't decent people. Right. You know. Right. Uh and and uh I mean, I didn't go out with them because they were in porn. I went out with them because I knew them as a matter of my, you know, when I was doing Midnight Blue in New York. Those were the people. You always date the people that come into your sphere of 
living. And so where I worked, uh, you know, some of these people came, so I dated some of them. Not, you know, I also dated Do they not, actually come when they're doing porn, or is that an act? <laughs> Oh, Phil. Uh, only with you, Phil. It was Phil. an act when you were in the room. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, 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 you know, it's it's strange. I, I couldn't answer that question for you. I don't know, you know. Uh, all I knew was it was real with me, you know. You thought. No, I mean, because I can, I can tell a faked orgasm. Yeah. Like, I fake an orgasm. Yeah, I use mayonnaise. And, oh, and, gross! And, and, <laughs> cool. I use Cool Whip. You use you know, cool you know whip. The, the guy that used to clean the booth. He used to complain about the mayonnaise on the floor. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, it's uh, you know, I wonder if this buttercream frosting tastes better. I don't think they're going to demonetize this show because we haven't used a single four-letter word. Uh, yeah, you know. So, but anyway. Uh, How about work? Hmm? <laughs> work. So what, what, let's see, I talked to you the other day, Jeff. You said that you had your scallops. Oh, man, that sounded good. Uh, you're, you're, uh, take your mic off mute. I uh, had my wife drive me crazy. She was listening to your show a little bit. She goes, this is disgusting. <laughs> what, the show tonight? <laughs> tonight. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Oops. Well, that's why I moved. I moved. I mean, I was just, I was just talking about, you know, <laughs> how I was when I in my youth, you know. Yep. So get to the scallops. Come on, and you started with the scallops. So let's hear about your scallops. We heard about it Monday. No, no, but he had scallops on Thanksgiving. Yeah. The traditional scallop yeah, dinner on Thanksgiving. Exactly. They were fantastic. Scallops and gravy. <laughs> how crazy. <laughs> and, and I get it from the scallop guy. That's what the Italians actually, call it. In Connecticut, he lives there. Mm -hmm. And he goes to Rhode Island and picks them up from the ocean there, mm -hmm. brings them back, and he freezes them as he's put them together mm. and packages them. Mm -hmm. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah, I was watching one wow. of these. Uh, food programs tonight. It's a food competition out of England called Master Chef to Professionals. And Marjorie mm -hmm. loves that show. And this woman was put down because she she didn't do well because her scallops weren't completely cooked. Hmm. Oh, you, you how do you not how, how how do you how do you not cook scallops completely? I mean, they, you don't put them in hot water. They cut down on the amount of time they have to prepare these things to mm -hmm. create more drama. And, you know, she may not have gotten them on the fire uh, But you, How long do you have to have scallops on a fire? I mean, what, five minutes? And then Very maybe they're sure. overdone. They cook real quick. Yeah. yeah. They're quick, quick, quick. Minute on each side in a fry pan with some oil and garlic and basil, and you're done. Yeah. Yeah. Get you, a know what they, on. you know what they did to my crab? Mm -hmm. uh, they fried it. They deep fried it uh, oh, in, in some sort of butter and oil. It was the worst. <clears throat> uh, initially, the crab was cold. So I said, you know, I sent it back. And uh, it comes back out about three minutes later. And uh, you couldn't even touch the crab shells. They were so hot. And uh, they, there was breading on it. I said, what did you do? Fry this in, in the stuff that you fry uh, uh, French fries? And they mm. said, no, no, this is the way we make it. I said, you know, I ate here twice before. I never remembered it like this. I, I said, I couldn't touch it. I, I actually was burning my fingers. Who's running so this place that, now? You know, Donald Trump? Mm. Huh? Nothing. What's, yeah, so... <laughs> Yeah, so I Jeff, I I I'm jealous of your scallops because oh, you should come up with. So, uh, so what did you right, do, well, Alan? What did you workshop. what did you do for Thanksgiving, Alan? Oh, sorry, I'm, I was talking over you. You probably uh, had Chinese. No, yeah, right. No, we went and had Italian at Buca de Beppo. It's got to be the worst Italian food. Ugh. Why <laughs> Why did you guys decide to go to places that had bad My food? Huh? My nephew, he's the smartest person in the family, brain-wise. 
He picks the worst restaurants. What was the name of the <laughs> place? Hard in your family. Buca de Beppo. Ugh. Buca de Beppo. It's horrible. Sounds yeah. like it sounds like uh, a certain fecal matter dropping in a toilet. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That would have been probably better. It's that time of the year that you shouldn't be going to a restaurant. They're all at home. Yeah. All the good yeah. chefs are at home. But, you know, that might be that might be place. the answer. Yeah. I don't think so. <clears throat> I didn't come anywhere. Mm. Well, I went to Costco yesterday. Today, actually. Mm -hmm. And they had king crabs. Uh-huh. Okay, in a huge box. Well, they're big. King crabs are big. Big, yeah. and they had like two bags. It was like four hundred dollars. Wow! And king crabs are hard to eat because you got to use scissors to cut the shells. Yeah. You know they don't break like the dungeon. I'm not, believe me, I'm not spending. I'll tell you, I would, what I wouldn't give for a good dungeon is crab right now. You know, you, you don't get them out here. No, you know. Go to well, Phil's they don't house. travel well. <laughs> they, I, I think they do Phil. get out here, but by the time they get here, they're real mean. <laughs> <laughs> you know. You see how much? Did you guys talk about how much they were right now? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they're pricey. Yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, this was the the four hundred dollars. Yeah. That was a bargain. Yeah, you know, they're, they're, I see. Really, them. would be five hundred dollars. I've seen them fifteen bucks a pound, and they're usually about sixty or sixty-five bucks in the restaurants. Yeah, you yeah. know, down at Fisherman's Wharf, when they when they're having the season and they're really plentiful, they're only a few bucks a pound. Yeah, but you're talking about Dungeness crab, right? You're not, you're not talking about king crab. Different. No, topic. I said king crab. Well, does anybody yeah, remember king, when yeah, I? Yeah, but in my right. show in San Francisco, I used to refer to a girlfriend I was going with at the time as the fish princess. Oh, Lord. Oh, yeah. yeah, she and her ex-husband owned a fish distribution company on Fisherman's Wharf, you know, and she used to get the freshest stuff, you know, yeah, just mm -hmm. the best. Wow. She'd go down there and pick up a Dungeness crab and bring it to my place, you know, and we'd, or yeah, a couple yeah. of them. I wonder if they still have all those people going into Fisherman's Wharf now that Alioto's and all those other restaurants have closed. Alioto's was... Well, is Fisherman's Grotto Number Nine still there? I'm not I sure. So. I don't think so. I don't think because so. that was my favorite, that one. Yeah. Uh, but I went to Alioto's once, and the food was terrible. Yep. It was just yeah, horrible. And the tourists. next day, the next day on the show, I had on my show one of my favorite politicians in San Francisco, Angela Alioto, uh -huh. whose family owned Alioto's. Yeah, and I said I went to. Uh, by the way, I went to Alioto's yesterday for dinner. She says, "How was it?" I said, "It was terrible." Hey, you want me to tell you something right now? Yeah. Joe Alioto's niece is in the other room talking to my wife. <laughs> wow! Really? I swear to God. Well, uh, uh, Joe Alioto was Angela's father. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Wow. They're friends. Wow. Yeah. You know, there used to be like DiMaggio's. Yeah. What are the chances of that, that we're sitting here talking yeah. about, right. you know? Wait <laughs> so a minute. Weird. How did you get his background? I don't know. It just <laughs> happened. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Ray is good. Yeah, Ray, Ray's got one of those Leica cameras. You just bought it down the street for 25 I got a knock on. Yeah, he's a Nikon Wait man. Wait a minute, you, you waited for Tony to go away and then you did a screen grab, didn't you? Yeah, I did. But I had to match the colors and stuff. That took a little yeah. while. Yeah. You're very good at that stuff. Yeah. 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 Well, I guess you're going to be doing perfect. that, Ray. Yeah, it's, you know, it's a pastime. Yeah. yeah. We should just put a bunch of Tony's backdrops on, my, on the website and let people download them. So when they're doing like, you know... I, 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 Ray had downloaded Tony's old backdrop, and yeah. I sent it to everybody and said, "Let's surround Alex with Tony's backdrop." Crazy. <laughs> Here, you want to do mine? <laughs> yeah. As soon as I saw Tony leave, I that said, funny. "That's my chance." <laughs> hmm. I had to be quick. By the way, I, I did mention that uh, uh, just so people know if they're listening, uh, Jack will not be doing a show tonight because he's got 
technical problems. I thought he got a new computer uh, downstairs that is why no, he No, he moved the computer oh. downstairs. I yeah, see. It's not new, yeah. And then some kids, while he was in the hospital, went on the computer and started loading stuff into it and so on. And I think that may have had something to do with it, but it was seven years old, too. So and last he, night he, he had he problems again, and I, I tried to upload, and it wouldn't, it wouldn't connect to, to this thing. And I, I suddenly said, well, reboot the machine, and he turned the machine off, and when he turned it back on, it just it, all it would show was Lenovo, and it just stayed there, you know. Didn't. Can he do the, his show from his iPhone or something? Uh, uh, that, that's it's mostly a, that's audio. That's a funny joke. And, and him, him to have an iPhone, that's funny. But yeah, I don't think Jack's got an iPhone. Oh, he's got I an iPhone. He he's got a smartphone. Not, yeah. not an iPhone, though. Well, what's the difference? You know, but he can put Skype on it, and uh, and he could do the thing, and he can send the and he can send the file. Let's talk about OBS and the problems I'm having. Uh oh, this is something. Yeah, right. Uh, we, what we got? Uh, oh, we, we got 37 people listening to us. One. Let's see if Ooh. we can get it down to 30 by talking about <laughs> OBS. <laughs> Nobody knows what we're talking about. Wait, what's your problem with OBS? OBS is what I use. It's called, uh, stands for OBS. Uh, because I did, a, I did a podcast uh, video and, and I was trying to do an intro and it it, it like froze in the middle. I, wait, I can't fix it. I got to start over. It happened twice and now I can't get it to work right at all. Could be. You don't have you Jack's have, computer. Do, do you have a powerful enough computer? Maybe not. It is like seven or eight yeah, years OBS old. OBS is what we use on this program, folks, to switch things and so on and so forth. It usually works. It's probably just too old. I need a new computer. Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, OBS is a great little pro It's a free program. I know. And it allows us to switch the, these programs yeah. and to do all the videos and stuff that I play yeah. and so on, you know. I think my I like computer OPM. is too weak. Mm -hmm. I like OPM. Other people might. <laughs> oh okay hey phil are you getting a meniscus surgery uh i don't know i haven't talked to the doctor yet i don't know how bad it is because i had one and my knees my knee was still completely screwed up after i'm glad i had it because it i'm not all swollen all the time but i'm gonna have to get a knee replacement on that knee yep yep, yep. Hmm. Just uh, FYI. Well, I'm going to put it off as long as possible because that's uh, what I did. What I read is that I'll be down for the count for several weeks. Yeah. Uh, which means that I'll have problems at the store if I'm not there because I'm lacking employees. You so, can probably get over that if you just take it easy and uh, maybe wear a, a knee brace or something on yeah. there. The and thing is, the meniscus to... tears don't get better. They don't. They they can't. Mine heal. got my. I don't have it anymore. Mine healed. Uh, mine healed. Yours might not have been completely torn. Yeah, yeah, if it's totally torn and it can't. But if it, yeah, if it's just partial, I think it can heal. I was but told. I, I was told it was completely... torn and that you know, it may go away and may not. Mine did. Oh, I see. You Mine know, just but got but worse. I was very careful with it. You know, I didn't put any pressure on that leg. You know, I, I, in fact. I even uh, was, was, you know, if I had to get down on the floor to do something or go down too low to go to a cabinet or something, I wouldn't do it for about a year. So, you know. But, I uh, was waiting for it to happen again every time I got in the shower. I got nervous because when I got out, I heard a loud pop, and that was it. Yeah. I was back playing softball in a month and a half. And you, had, you, had, you had the, uh, the surgery. Yeah, I had the surgery. Yeah, I guess yeah. it just, just depends, you know. Well, you have Kaiser, don't you, Phil? They won't. Yeah, do but you see, what they're saying is, if if I work on my quads and hamstrings, that that'll strengthen uh, the knee, uh, and I have been. It might. Uh, yeah. yeah. What made it? Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let's go back a little bit. What mm -hmm. made it? What made your meniscus tear? What uh, What probably, action did it? I probably I was just bent. walking. No, and it just popped like, you, like Phil said. Yeah, if you twist it and you go in the wrong angle, you That's know, uh, uh, you you can tear it. Yeah, well, and my, I think my, I torn it years ago, and I think it's just worse now. My knee lately has been bothering me a little bit when I walk, so I don't walk. Yeah. <laughs> That'll do it. Yeah, yeah. well, mm -hmm. I'm losing weight, and I I haven't felt this good in years, and I'm not going to stop exercising. Yeah, yeah, well. 
you know, have fun. Yeah. yeah. Well, I would recommend, Phil, that if you can, get a physical therapist. Well, I have a personal trainer. And uh, that's not a physical well, therapist. Guy is not really a physical good. therapist. That's he's, not a physical uh, therapist. Well, he's um, uh, he's making sure I don't uh, do too much to my knee, mm. uh, you know, and uh, changing up the exercise. This is the guy that started all your problems, anyhow. No, I, I I'm sure I had this problem long before. Uh, you know, hey, look, uh, I was I love I love this show, folks. Thank you for joining us and listening to everybody complain about their health. You know, when, when I was younger, I installed wall-to-wall -wall carpet. There's no oh, hey, that's worse interesting job too. Let's knee. talk about installing wall-to-wall -wall carpet. Can we switch to colonoscopies, please? Yeah, really. <laughs> by the way, by the way, uh, uh, um, I I had a friend before you who who had a carpet business. Yeah. Right. Oh, and oh, well, maybe it was you. Yeah. <laughs> and you had this little device that when you put in carpets. You had to you had to hit it with your knee, right? The kicker is that what it's called a kicker? Yeah, I think I fixed something in in the living room in your Sausalito apartment. You needed me to was either put a wire under the carpet or or something. I did something for you there. But it, but the, those things I saw somebody somebody came into my apartment once. I think it was in New York or something, where I got some wall to wall carpet and they put the thing in. They're just doing this jamming, yeah. Deal. What's it called? A kicker, huh? Knee kicker, yeah. Knee a knee kicker, yeah. Although I used to kick with my right knee, and it's my left knee that's got the problem. But maybe it's because I would lean on my left knee and then kick with the right. Did, did people after a while get yeah. knee problems from doing? Yeah, that? the carpet installers get water on the knee. Uh, mm -hmm. Now, have, have they replaced? Have, have, they, have they replaced that piece of archaic technology with some kind of yeah. new technology? Yeah, they have something called a power stretcher, and you only use the knee kicker for placement, uh, not for stretching mm -hmm. uh, anymore. So uh, you don't have to. Back, yeah. Are you sure that your meniscus is due to all this and not just due to old age? Well, it could be. I I sent you the. Uh, uh, yeah, I know. I saw it. I'll look at it at the end of the show, the radiologist uh, report. Yeah. So, oh, nothing wrong with my left knee. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's the same age. <laughs> all I had, all I had was a uh, was an X-ray. And well, I had an X-ray at first, and then they said that it was arthritis, and so I said, "Nah, this thing still hurts," and so they uh, allowed an MRI. Yeah. And that's uh, that's when I got the report. You got to get a better doctor. I didn't have the X-ray. They took me directly to have an MRI. Yeah, I've talked to you since Kevin because we do a thing just personally on on the weekends. But and I asked you this. But what'd you do? Tell them what you did for Thanksgiving. Was that me? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we went to the coast. You went we took a, a trip to the coast and. Uh, Took the trailers out there and parked on the coast, and then the king tide came up, and we got booted out. Uh, oh, really? What part of the coast were you, you on? Picked up some king crab for Jeff. Or yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, right. We probably could have done it. No, we we're over at Sea Cliff State Beach. It's right on the beach. Oh, is that up uh, in like Sonoma? No, Aptos. Oh, we oh, parked right on the beach. Yeah, and it takes like six or eight months to get the place, and like kid got up for us about six or eight months ago and so we went down there we we're going to spend wednesday through sunday there and <clears throat> we had thanksgiving on the beach and then come thanksgiving afternoon they said we may have to evacuate on friday and i thought ah yeah whatever but uh the waves started breaking really bad on wow. friday night or thir thursday night Friday night, Thursday night. Well, Kevin, do you think these uh, high tides were due to the volcano in in Hawaii? No, no, it was a uh, the there was a storm up north in up around Oregon, and they said the surge from that. I mean, it was really interesting to see the the ocean change like that overnight. Wow! It was we went to bed and the, and the the waves were breaking 
about 50, 60 yards off the beach, and it was beautiful. I mean, it was, the weather was beautiful. There was no wind, nothing. Mm. And it was breaking, you know, 50, 60 yards off the beach. And we literally parked 15 feet away from the beach, the sand where it starts. Mm. And by the time we had uh, had dinner uh, and I started a fire and I was kicking back and the waves started getting a little louder and a little closer. <laughs> oh, God. And, you know, I had a little sip of tequila and uh, they got a little mm. closer and a little louder. And then Oof. we went to bed and by midnight, the trailer was shaken. Wow. I mean, these things were cracking. Probably when I went outside, they were cracking 15 feet high <laughs> and they were wow. getting like within 40 yards, maybe. Wow. So you got yeah. the, so you got Doesn't the, it take yeah. time to break those trailers down and uh, you, do you level them and you do all sorts of stuff? Oh, yeah, you can do it pretty damn quick when you have to. Yeah. <laughs> where, where was this? Where was this, Kevin? At Aptos at Sunset or uh, Seacliff uh, State Beach, right there off of State Cliff or Driving One. Yeah. Well, that would have been a real nice way. Thanksgiving if it hadn't been yeah. for that. Well, we were, yeah, we were, at, we had Thanksgiving dinner. Yeah. And uh, everything was so nice. So, what did you beach. have for Thanksgiving dinner? Now, LeJeff, who lives in Connecticut, had scallops. Okay. Now, you're at the beach. What did you have? We had steaks, and I brought a. Um, a chunk, a breast of turkey. See, oh, see, and see. I, I had Jeff. to have something turkey, and I cooked it in the freaking oven in the RV. And I was the only one that really ate it. But they they spread around. But you some see, New York he was at the water, and he didn't have scallops. Okay? And I brought some gravy, and I threw gravy on top of it, and I mashed up some gravy potato to mm -hmm. make it make it mashed potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> That's you the way you spend Thanksgiving. You could have thrown some sand in and had sand dabs. How about, how about yep. you, Ray? What did you do for Thanksgiving? I went to Novato, uh, where Ooh. my aunt and uncle live, and spent it with them. But my wife and other sons stayed home because my wife had foot surgery. Oh, you, you have turkey. Oh, wow. Yes. Oh, okay. Turkey <laughs> and the stuffing. And the mm, pumpkin yeah. pie and the cranberry sauce. No, I, 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 I know what Charlie had because on Monday we asked this question of the Monday audience mm -hmm. and uh, he came up with his answer. Tell him, Tony, what did you have for Thanksgiving? <laughs> Dog food. Hey, so we had turkey and she made Alpo. a ham. Alpo. <laughs> uh, uh, no, what did you have? What did you have, Charlie? Charlie, not, not pizza. Oh, I oh. had ham and sausage, pizza, and beer. That is the traditional Very Thanksgiving good. meal. That's, that's a, right. I, that's a I Texas gave, Thanksgiving meal. I gave all the guys that work for me those spiral hams from uh, Honey Baked. I didn't even get one for myself. I just I gave it to the installers. I gave one. I mm -hmm. warehousemen, uh, my office guys, and uh, mm -hmm. they. I guess they were appreciative. Uh, but Alex, no, now, they still got, say nasty things by about you behind your back. Alex, you you got stuff delivered. What was the end result oh, of no. your uh, Thanksgiving dinner? Oh, the end. Uh, we turn as soon as it came. We told them we don't want it. <laughs> what happened was they, they were supposed to get it to us on Tuesday, and finally they said, "Well, you can get it to you on Thursday." You know, because they it canceled was half it. Cooked, right? Yeah. But we already went out and bought a turkey at Whole Foods. Hey, what did Foods you do for the rest of the stuff? To be on the safe side, and she turned the, the turkey away. Huh. So you, know. you told them to stuff their turkey, huh? Basically, <laughs> yeah. It, it, this, uh, what's the company called? Uh, half, Fresh half Direct. Fresh, Fresh Direct. Direct. And, and Fresh you know, Direct. The, what I didn't like was their attitude. Because, mm. I mean, let's face it. You're having people over for Thanksgiving, <laughs> you know, you're going to tell somebody we might be able to get it to you by two o'clock in the afternoon on Thursday? No. <laughs> you yeah. know, and, come and on. You, and you said it would take several hours to cook the turkey. Yeah, yeah. sure. It Sorry, sure. Done. Sure. But yeah. anyway, she, it did come at 10 in the morning, but Marjorie turned it away. I wish she hadn't because the turkey we did do from Whole Foods wasn't that terrific. It was, it was, it had lived a tough life. When I tried mm. to carve it, it tried to carve me back. You know, it's a New York turkey. 
Hmm. I've gotten a turkey from Whole Foods once, and it was tough as well. Yeah. Wow. You yeah. would think it would have been a good one. Well, I guess it's one of those, you know, uh, politically correct turkeys. I don't right. know. Uh, I don't know. Amazon owns Whole Foods. Yeah. But anyway, so, so I mean, but that. she went and got oh, yeah. this turkey because she wanted to make sure that we had a turkey. And then she turned this other one away, which I wouldn't have done probably, but she did. So, you know, uh, but it was, you know, we had a nice Thanksgiving. And then also I forgot to ask Tony, what did you do for Thanksgiving? I went to my sister's, which is right around the corner. She made turkey, ham, and we made some, I made sides to bring over. Yeah. What sides did you make? I made Man. a string beans and Kraft macaroni and cheese. What else? <laughs> string beans and uh, potatoes. I did a uh, mashed potatoes with uh, also the mashed potatoes with the uh, with the cheese on top, and I did sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes. Yeah. I hate sweet uh, potatoes. potatoes. I hate sweet potatoes. Oh, I love them. They make me. Like them. Them. If I eat a, a, a sweet potato, I I throw up. Mm. Even free, what about sweet potato fries? You know, I can do that. Maybe yeah. Isn't that strange? You know? No, isn't that weird? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, uh, I, it was something I had meant to ask you in the first half hour. I know we're talking Thanksgiving and food. It's getting a little old. Has anyone watched the first three episodes of Tulsa King? Yeah. No. I like it. It's okay. Yeah. It's okay. Uh, with Sylvester Stallone. What is uh, Dana Delaney uh what part is she playing? I can't recognize her. I know that she was a, a heartthrob in the in the seventies in some TV series. Was it Mash? I, 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 I don't. I no, don't. No. Yeah, it was Mash. Mash. I don't know which uh, which which uh, part she, she is. is. No. Yeah, because she's not the no. FBI or the ATF agent, so uh, I'm not sure who she is. Yeah. Hey, there's a good show on Hulu. Started watching about Chippendales. Yes, Chippendales that's thing. very good. It is, isn't it? It's really good. It's really oh, good. Okay. It's, yeah, really good. it's not what I thought it would be. You know, it's not really about a bunch of hunks dancing and about their lives and things like that. This is about the actual intrigue that went on in creating this club. Yeah, and they're not actually changing much. It's it was pretty uh, dramatic and nasty shit. Really, I didn't know that. Yeah, I looked it up. It's pretty pretty accurate. Weren't Chippendales men? Yeah. 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 But Yeah, but I'm, it's about the guy who started it. Oh. And how, it's more about the back yeah. Story. Sta story. Back stage story of this thing. And yeah. it's really very it's very good. It, yeah, it's so another good. FX show. They're like the FX does great stuff. And know? it's on Hulu. It's on Hulu. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. it's an FX show. That's why they have I think, those commercial blackouts. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, okay. there there are com are commercials unless you get it like I do, commercial free. Yeah, me too. You know. But it has those like blacks, you know, blackouts. By the way, I didn't tell you guys. Well, I, I, it's almost time to go. I cut the cord. Oh, you did. Congratulations! Wow. Congratulations. Yeah. You yeah. won't miss it. I cut I, it. I ago. do miss the cable. Yeah. You know why? You'll get used to it. You know why? Because every one of those devices had a clock on it, and I knew what time it was by looking at it. And now when <laughs> I look for that time on the, I can't find it, and then yeah. I have to look somewhere else. So put a know. screensaver on your computer with the time. Well, did, that, did that, you get Hulu TV or Yahoo TV you, instead or something? I like got that? Hulu. Yeah. Oh, okay. I because you get because that. you get the you get the uh, Disney uh, okay, thing. We well, get the Disney bundle with it i got the youtube tv but with the paramount plus isn't there a, a bundle that comes with that or is no that you, you can get showtime which i did oh. i got showtime when i canceled my cable you know yeah. and it's only cheaper than normally paying for showtime so anyway that's it uh glad you all had a good thanksgiving you know mm -hmm. and uh, thank I you did. all for being here thanks to phil of course for starting off the show and then the lovely and attractive Jeff, who ate scallops for Thanksgiving, uh, and uh, is thanks scallops and yams, right? Yeah, yeah right. Oh, right. And uh, and Alan, thank you so much. Uh, also, Charlie, thank you, thank you, uh, 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 Tony. Uh, thanks to Ray, and thanks to Kevin. And by the way, there is no Jack Bishop tonight, folks. Mm -hmm. uh, did, did Warren G. Harding die of food poisoning from? from scallops 
Uh, I, 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 I think it was eating at the Dead Fish Company. Yeah, no, uh, it was in San Francisco at the Sheraton Palace, I think. But no, I, I he think came. He, had, he yeah. came back that from was Alaska. Arbuckle. He, Alaska, and he, he, Alaska. He was at the Palace Hotel. He got sick when he got back from Alaska, and he died at the Palace Hotel. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. Which yeah. has a wonderful buffet, by the way. Yes. After well. eating yeah. crab. Yeah. Everybody, give a big wave goodbye. I'll give a big wave goodbye at you. Okay. There they go, folks. That's our citizen panel for tonight. Uh, Jack Bishop not here tonight. Got uh, got computer problems, but uh, uh, you know, you can figure out something to do without Jack. Anyway, I'll see you again uh, tomorrow. Uh, Same time, same station in life. In the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye, everybody.